Hi folks, welcome back to the kitchen. Today, I'll be cooking a Jamaican national dish with Chef Nikki from the Caribbean Kitchen. Aki and salted codfish with plantain and avocado celebrates the rich and diverse culture of the Jamaican people while offering a savory twist to your breakfast menu. My name is Polly. Growing up, my family didn't spend much time cooking together, and I never inherited a cookbook of time-honored recipes. So I'm on a mission to meet everyday people from the community and learn the amazing stories behind their cherished recipes in order to build a cookbook that one day I can pass on. Welcome to Generation Kitchen. I discovered cooking uh, growing up at home in Jamaica. I'm from St. Thomas. Uh, I started very young. I was always fascinated with um, the kitchen, how it works, the smell. Cooking meant having a family meal at the table and having good time, good food together. What I love about being a professional chef is that uh, I'm constantly challenged um, to be better, to create something different, create something new. Persons come from near and far to have some good Caribbean food. It's like a family setting when, you know, lots of love, lots of uh, all the good stuff that, you know, this is stemming from, you know, your Caribbean upbringing. So today we're cooking ackee and codfish or ackee and saltfish with some plantains and avocado. It's a special dish to Jamaica because it's a national dish. Ackee is considered the national fruit and ackee and codfish is a national dish of Jamaica. So it's something all of Jamaica enjoys. Don't be intimidated by it. It's very simple. It's delicious. It's a good meal to maybe take to a potluck or something, you know, something different, something interesting, but definitely try the meal. You'll love it. To get started, you'll need 540 grams of canned ackee, 225 grams of salted cod, bone-free, a quarter cup of olive oil, and an extra tablespoon for plantain, one cup of diced yellow onion, one cup diced bell pepper, one cup diced tomato, a quarter cup thinly sliced green onion, one teaspoon minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, salt to taste, three ripe plantains, and two sliced avocados for serving. I've never had fish for breakfast. I'm very excited to really? try it. Really? Yeah. No, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Yeah. It's actually one of the more popular breakfast items. Um, it's really... It goes, when we make it on a Saturday, it's the first thing that we run out of and we always wow. have to make a second batch. Um, people visit the islands and they come back asking for it. They love it. Um, persons who are, you know, from the islands, this is where they come to make it, to have it because they maybe can't be bothered to make it at home. So it's definitely one of the popular items on the menu. All right. So how do we get started? We're going to start with our cod. And this I have right here. I kind of did some of the groundwork for us. So uh, what I did... Uh, it comes very salty because it's salted cod, mm -hmm. and you wash off some of the excess salt under cold water, fill a pot with some water, about half a pan of water, mm -hmm. um, put it in, bring it to a boil, and you boil it for maybe five to 10 minutes. Um, you can taste it to see if the salt level is your preference. If it's okay. not, you repeat the process. Drain to the boil out more salt. To, right. Drain the water, and then this is where we're at. Amazing. Yes. So. For this, to prep the cod for the mm -hmm. saute with the veggies, we're gonna kind of break it apart. Mm -hmm. Either you can cut it up or you can use two forks to pull it apart, or you can get in with your hands and just like break it apart yourself. So okay. I'll give you the option to choose what you hmm. would prefer. Would you want to get in with your hands and just pull it apart, or you can use two forks? I'll use the forks. Oh, sure. Get some Wolverine action. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on the board. Mm -hmm. So I just, just tear it apart. All right. Yeah. And again, this is just, again, to your preference. If you want big pieces, small pieces, your preference. It's okay. one of those dishes where you kind of just go with the flow, you know, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we finished with the cod, and now I believe we need to chop some veggies? Yes, we do. Okay, so what do we want to start uh, with? I'm going to start with the onion. Okay. Um, How does one cut an onion well? So what I usually do, uh, I would place it down and cut like along here. Okay. So you cut it in half. Careful not to chop your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> right. And now we have a nice base to work with, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to cut um, diagonally along here. Uh, you're not going to cut right through it. So it's, let me just kind of show you. It's like, kind of like this. Right? Okay, so you leave the you edge leave there? the edge there. Oh, okay. Right, to keep it kind of intact. You're going to make about two or three more slits like that. Right? right, and then you're gonna carefully just cut one horizontally down. There. <laughs> oh my gosh! Perfect. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna just make some slits along here. Amazing. So you hold it at the end, and you kind of cut along here. All right. There and you, you do go. the smart thing of putting your fingers away. So I'm yeah. gonna copy that. <laughs> and then we're gonna maybe go with our peppers. Okay. Okay. You can take your, yep, and we're gonna core the center. Careful again not to cut your fingers. Yes. <laughs> I live dangerously. <laughs> Perfect, right. I'm just gonna pull it out. There you go. And then we're gonna julienne, we're gonna cut the pepper in like strips and then cut them um, in smaller pieces. Okay, so about the same size as the onion? There you go. Okay. And you try to keep your veggies like uh, the same sizes and that way they cook evenly. You don't want to have big mm. pieces, small pieces. It makes a uh, good cooking sense to kind of have similar sizes. And this goes for like most stuff. If you're doing meats and stuff like that, it's good to have everything like similar size and then everything cooks. You don't have like the small bits cooking and going to mash and then the small, the larger pieces like still, you know, hard or raw, uncooked. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna right. grab the tomatoes. Tomato next? Okay. Tomato and the green onion. So for the garlic, uh, we can do it two ways. We can like use the side of the knife and kind of crush it, or you can take the small knife and just cut off the ends and peel it. I'll try crushing it first. There you go. Perfect. Do you hear that crunch? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that makes it so much easier to take off. Yeah, perfect. Right. You wanna just cut off the little end right there. Mm -hmm. And for the garlic, we're just gonna chop it like as, you know, as small as you can. All right. There you go. Then you're gonna just like heap everything and just like chop, 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 chop. All right. I'm gonna put it in the small bowl here. But I think we have all our veggies prepped and then we have our plantain all right. uh, that we're gonna do next. Usually, um, this one is a little green. It's trying to come ripe. Mm -hmm. This one is really ripe. It's not quite soft, but like this one won't be as sweet. It will be more starchy, and then this mm -hmm. one will have a lot of sweet. Today, we're gonna work with something a little bit, a little bit on the riper side okay. to give us that sweetness to go with the ackee, the savory, some sweet. And I'm gonna show you how to cut it. Okay. Usually, I kind of just cut the end like that, okay, and like that, and then I'll score it on the side and then we'll just peel it. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. And then these, we're gonna slice diagonally. Mm -hmm. um, you could use the, the bigger knife mm -hmm. and just make like, uh, just show you, like, about that. Okay. And you're gonna do the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize that you could eat the different ripeness of the plantain and it would you know, have a completely different flavor. Yes. Uh, today we're gonna bake them. So oh, you're just okay. gonna have a little brown, uh, trying to be a little bit healthier. <laughs> so we're gonna bake them. Um, so Are they generally fried? Yeah, most times. Most cases they're fried. I love them fried. Like, <laughs> at the at kitchen we fry them and they go like hot bread. Like they go really quickly. Persons, yeah. yeah. Right. We just put it in a bowl. And I think we have all our ingredients, so. Wonderful. We are ready to cook. All right, so before we get to sauteing, right. we're going to put the plantains in the oven, yes? Yes, 
And it takes about 20 minutes to get like nice and golden in mm -hmm. the oven. So while we're doing the sauteing, this will be cooking. You know, we're multitasking in the kitchen. Yeah. All right, so we already have our pan sheet here. It's lined with some paper. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just put the plantains right on. And then we're gonna drizzle with some olive oil. So generally, we would fry these plantains but today we're trying to make a healthier meal, so we're just gonna bake them instead. And basically you drizzle the olive oil and you just take your hands, or if you don't want, it kind of get messy when it's like really ripe, ripe plantains. So you kind of take your hand and kind of just mix the olive oil, kind of to coat all the plantains so you get that nice, crispy, golden edges when you bake them. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. You wanna turn them maybe halfway through and just like evenly cooked on, the, cooked evenly and they have brown on both sides, the golden right. and nice on both sides. Right. So let's get these in the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna start cooking. So we we'll have your pan on high heat mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add some olive oil. Right uh, so how much, just like a couple of tablespoons? Or? Uh, for this amount, we're doing one can of ackee. So I would say about a quarter cup. So I would say all of that. All right. Yep, it should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and toss in our onions first. All right. And I'm gonna let the onion kind of just cook by itself a little bit, maybe a minute or so, just to get kind of translucent. Mm -hmm. So you're really developing the flavors. Um, when they cook, you're extracting the sweetness from the onion. So that's what you're kind of doing first. If you were to just toss everything in the pan and like let it cook, it, definitely won't have the same flavor mm -hmm. as opposed to doing it this way. Right. And also like when I cook like this, I like to maybe season as I go along. And by season, I mean adding like some salt and some pepper to each layer. So when I do the veggies, I'll add some salt and some pepper. And you know that layer of seasoning will finish adding everything, add another layer of seasoning and you taste it. So it's like, okay, this is perfect. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So next we can add our tomatoes and our peppers. All right. As you can see, the onions are getting kind of translucent. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add our tomatoes and our peppers <laughs> sorry you. no that's okay i just got the spatula so i might as well okay all right gonna mix it up mix it all up there you go and i think we can pop in our garlic all right mm, do you smell that oh yeah and all the garlic in there. Perfect. Oh yeah. And the garlic just brings it all together. Yes, yes <laughs> it does. So they're getting kind of cooked. So now we're gonna add our green onions. All right. I'm gonna toss them in for you. Thank you. There go. And so when you say that the other stuff was looking kind of cooked, yeah. is it just because the peppers are starting to look like they're softening yes, a bit? Yes, they're softening a bit, yeah. But not too, too much But right not too, now. too much. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think now it's been about four minutes. We can maybe add our codfish okay. that we prepped earlier. Yes. Here it is. There we go. Perfect. See, those are the perfect pieces. Yeah, they're, they're pretty complementary to the mm -hmm. size of the vegetables. So this you want to maybe cook for maybe another like two minutes. Mm -hmm. the, the cut is fully cooked now, um, but you want it, all the flavors to just like incorporate with each other. So you kind of let it just cook. Just, yeah, and I kind of turned on the heat a little bit because it was getting kind of hot. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna grab our ackee. All right. Because that's the next thing we're gonna add to the dish. All right, and so this is what ackee looks like. Yes, and um, with the ackee, you want to make sure it's like fully drained. Um, mm -hmm. We drained it earlier. You don't want to make it make any excess water in it because right. that's gonna make our ackee soggy, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want the soggy ackee. So this was prepped already, it was like boiled for a few minutes mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna add it to the pan. So I think okay. now is a good time to add it to the pan. Alrighty. And what we tend to do is we kind of take the veggies and kind of scoop them kind of on top of the ackee. So you're not really touching the ackee too much because remember it's very soft. You don't want to break it up too much. Mm -hmm. It looks good and it smells good. Oh yeah. And at this point, you'd usually add your salt to taste. 
So you always want to make sure you taste first, right? Because the codfish is salty. Right. And everybody yeah. have a different level of salt they like in their meals. Mm -hmm. I, for one, I think it should be a little salty. Um, just, a, just a tad bit. And that kind of like just brings out all the flavors. Mm -hmm. So most times you're not really adding salt to this dish because the codfish already gives you that salinity. Mm -hmm. What you want to really add is uh, ground pepper, black pepper. Okay. And that's it. That's all the spice we're gonna add because the Amazing. veggies like give you a lot of flavor, the ackee, so the ackee and the codfish. Mm -hmm. So all we're gonna add is some ground black pepper. So this you kinda want to just like, you kinda just stay on the stove for maybe like four minutes just to get the hockey heated right through. It's mm. already cooked. It was pre-cooked in the can. We'll cook it some more time on the stove. So it's really just to get the flavors developing with each other. Right. And that's our ackee meal, really. It looks delicious. Yeah, it smells delicious. All right, so do I want to combine the two or do I want to try one and the other first? Okay, I'm gonna say try the ackee and codfish. Okay. Just to kind of, you know, get, that's the star of the show, right? Mm -hmm. And then you want to try a combination of like all three things together. Okay. Right. Amazing. Mmm. Mmm. I can get more cod in there. That's delicious. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. And how is the, is it salty? Is it just right? Is it? For me, it's probably just right. Nice, but nice. Yeah, you can just taste the salts. Uh, you know, obviously it's incorporated into the whole dish, but you can just taste it a little more every little bite of cod that you get. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Get on in here. Okay, let me just take a bite. <laughs> Today, it was my pleasure to learn one of the treasured dishes of Jamaica. Chef Nikki's recipe added a taste of the Caribbean kitchen to the cookbook. The incredible sweet and savory combination of the ackee and salted codfish was a welcome surprise. I think my brunches just got a new favorite.